The motherboard for this lesson is MCSESC 4.12. MCSESC 4.12 motherboard is based on VESC open source. Hardware and firmware for electronic governor. This lesson introduces the hardware connection and control test of VESC motherboard and CAN module. First connect the VESC motherboard to a DC36V power supply. Then connect the three-phase line of the main board and the three-phase line of the motor. Then the encoder of the motor is connected to the corresponding interface of the motherboard. Connect the CAN module to the motherboard. Finally, connect the USB end of CAN module to PC. Hardware connection complete. Now power motherboard. This is the connection diagram between the MCSESC 4.12 motherboard and the Cannibal module. This test requires the use of software Kangaroo. Decompress the program Kangaroo compression package. Open the decompressed folder. Double click to open the program. The program is ready to complete. Click the option measurement to open the configuration screen. Click candle 0. Configure baud rate 500,000 and click OK to complete the configuration. After the connection is successful, the green signal of the CAN module in the upper right corner is on. Enter 336 in the address input field. Enter 4 in the input field DLC. Enter in the 4 bytes of payload in the input field. Check extend ID. Click send repeat to loop the command. After the command is sent, the motor starts to turn and keeps turning at a set speed of 1000 RPM. Click send repeat again to stop sending the command and the motor stops turning. The RPM setting test has been completed. Enter 136 in the address input field. Enter in the 4 bytes of payload in the input field. The current set here depends on the motor parameters. It is recommended not to set too high current. You can start the test with a small current. Check extend ID. Click send repeat to loop the command. After the command is sent. The motor starts to turn and keeps turning at the set current. Click send repeat again to stop sending the command and the motor stops turning. The motor current configuration test has been completed. That's the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching.